So aside from extravagant uh, beers aged in wine barrels, a couple of the other beers I picked up are uh, brewed with the idea of baked good in, goods in mind. Uh, this one that I have right here is from Evil Twin Brewing in New York. Even more pecan pie Jesus. I'm guessing that they have a pecan pie Jesus in their line, and that might maybe be an uh, uh, their response or their version of like a sweet baby Jesus. But this is an imperial stout. Uh, it's brewed with molasses and then pecan extract. And um, I'd say what the ABV is and all that good stuff, but they chose this really weird small font that is impossible to read on this can. Uh, so I'm just going to dive right in and we'll see how it goes. Right, right up to the top. And kiss the top. Kiss it. Yeah. There's actually still a little bit left in the can, so let's just put that over there for later. And that was actually a pretty, pretty dang good pour on that one. A little more uh, head than I would like, but a lot better than that last one I poured, the, um, the sour, which I didn't do a good job on, but it, it happens sometimes. And smelling it, it smells like a stout with a little bit of molasses or something in there. So, uh, pretty much as advertised. And it is very sweet. That is... That is a whole lot of molasses right up there at the front. Um, I'm not a connoisseur of pecan pies or pecan pies, depending on where you're from. Um, but I, I, you know what? You know what? However you like to say it, that that is on you. Do not let me disrespect your way of saying pecan or pecan. Just leave that up to you. My point being, when it comes to uh, primarily Thanksgiving is when I think of those. I'm more of a pumpkin pie man myself. So pecan pies, I'm not big into. I'm kind of surprised they went with molasses. I guess that's just to go with the dark, uh, stout flavors. I guess I'm getting a little bit of, like, that rich nutty flavor in there, but... Mostly, Jesus, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably a nice high ABV. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, just a lot of molasses up there. And I actually would not be surprised if this has a lot of ABV. Because if it has that molasses in there, it's a dark sugar. It is a lot of sugar for that yeast to eat. I make the CO2 and the alcohol in there, so uh, I was going to maybe do one more after this, but this might be um, this might be it for the night. Uh, up next, I'm gonna have another baked good uh, beer. So if I do that tonight, um, hopefully I'll be I will have the wherewithal to enjoy it. Uh, so until then, have fun, drink responsibly and take care of yourselves.